In a contract law course, one of the first things students learn is that a valid contract requires an offer, acceptance, and consideration. Consideration is something that's given, whether it be money, a return promise, or forbearance, by one party to another. But do parties' motives factor into the adequacy of the agreement's consideration? The Queen's Bench addressed this issue in the 1842 case of Thomas v. Thomas. John Thomas owned seven row houses and resided in one of them. In his will, John indicated that he wanted to give the houses to his brother, Samuel Thomas. The will also provided some money for his wife, Eleanor. John appointed Samuel and Benjamin Thomas as executors of his estate. On the evening before his death, John stated that he wanted to give more to Eleanor. On the morning of his death, John stated orally that he wished to give Eleanor either his home and everything contained in the home, or 100 pounds. John made the statement in the presence of two witnesses. Following John's death, Samuel, Eleanor, and Benjamin entered into a written agreement to allow Eleanor to remain in the home if she paid one pound per year and maintained the property. The parties indicated that the primary purpose of the agreement was to fulfill John's wishes. Eleanor remained in the home for several years. After Samuel died, Benjamin sought to eject Eleanor. Eleanor brought suit against Benjamin to enforce the agreement. Benjamin argued that the agreement lacked consideration because the party's motives in entering into the agreement were to fulfill John's wishes. The trial court ruled in favor of Eleanor and Benjamin appealed to the Queen's bench.